Governance and leadership challenges are the theme of the new Nollywood movie, Gang of Looters, adapted from the same title book by Dr. Mark Anthony Eze. And the producers hope the movie will sensitize voters ahead of the Nigeria's 2023 general elections. Details in this report. I am the social and political compass of this state. How dare you sign such a contract without recourse to me? Gang of Looters, a film conceived out of sheer will to show the world what comes of a social norm that permits corruption has been released. Most of the movies we have around now don't have a predominant message. This is trying to point your corruption. This is trying to talk about greed, personal aggrandizement, and some of those things that make us not have the best from our politi political journey. We are preaching a new message. We are trying to create the new Nigeria we seek. And we start by a message like this. Where do you expect me to get that kind of money from? These are state funds we're talking about. You have just kissed your second town. Goodbye. You're not going for the second time, mate. Sure. I don't need a prophet to tell me that. The movie, Damn an adaptation of the same titled book, Gang of Looters, was written by and executively produced by Dr. Mark Anthony Ize, highlighting societal ills such as corruption, greed, which has become the norm in our political landscape in Nigeria and Africa. The eye eats before the mouth, literally, food. So what they watch has a message to the senses, the inside. So we are bringing out a picture. We are showing what is happening in the political space. We are telling you, this is what they do to your mind. And then you now know when it comes to another year of election, you are more thoughtful. You remember, I watched this thing. I see what is happening. I will not be a pawn to their play. So by that way, we are affecting lives directly. We need more conscious people. We need more conscious Nigerians who want to change a travesty on ground. So I think it's, it's what you see has a graphic image to the mind. So when it happens to you, you remember you watched a movie, a robust movie, elaborate as it is, telling you about the ills, the looters, people who are there for their own personal gains and all of that. The suspense drama tells the story of a governor Kulala Budega, who battles to bring the economy and the people he governs out of bad governance. Shot in Imo State, eastern part of Nigeria, the film features Kenyan actor Zoli Ja, Adola Wudain, King Bassi, Emmanuel Shokari, Telma Okaz, and others. Sure. Gang of Lutas is, a, is, a, is, a, is something I would describe as uh, the sound of truth, the voice of uh, justice. You know, uh, on a very normal day, Nollywood producers will go for something that will bring them serious money. They will go for storylines that will, you know, but you hardly can find someone who wants to tell stories about, you know, the realities of, you know, that we are facing in the country and all that. So for the producer to have gone ahead to invest in telling this kind of story, I think it's a very great thing. And this is the kind of story we should tell. Too many corruptions is taking place. So many people want to be greed, power greed, and they are not giving chance to the people who elected them into power to benefit, you know. So this movie is, is very tight. I mean, tight. The content of it is very big. I say big thanks to the writer, Mr. Mac Anthony. He did extremely well to pieces this movie to talk about uh, the livelihood of the 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 the, the the suffering masses in, in, in the country, and not only in Nigeria as whole, well, it's everywhere in the world, all right, especially in Africa. So Gang of Looters is, is a movie that is highly political sized when it comes to storytelling. Yeah, it's a fine movie, it's a fine piece. As in, I was so happy when I got the call, when I saw the script, I was like, wow, this is amazing. This is amazing, I must be part of it. Political consequences. Gang of Luchas is now on Amazon Prime. This state, how dare you sign such a contract without recourse to me? You know that I have multinational companies that can handle such contracts. Yet you went ahead and gave such contracts out.